What's up, y'all? We're watching NFL All Access uh, Saturday. We got, some, got a lot of games today. It's jam packed. Um, so let's get started. First game we got early: uh, Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. Yeah, you already know what I, you guys, you know what I told you before with Pittsburgh. I'm looking for that consistency with their offense, and then their defense has been in shambles the last few years. But they're looking to get some young guys in there. I want to see what they can do with cornerback and in the linebacking position. Um, because they just don't they don't have the same type of Steelers defense that you saw. Big Ben, yeah, he can get the job done, but since they're going to have guys suspended early in the game, I'm really looking to see what their young guys, their young running backs, and their young wide receivers can do since there are going to be a couple suspensions looming when the game starts for Le'Veon Bell and uh, Martavius Bryant. And then on uh, Buffalo's side, I already told you guys I like Buffalo's defense. I think it's up and coming young, but still has a chance to be good. Um, with Buffalo, you know, I'm mostly just looking at quarterback situation with E.J. Manuel and Matt Castle. Personally, I would take E.J. Manuel because he is a little more explosive to me. He's a little bit more athletic. But Matt Castle, people think, is a better pocket passer. That may be true. I don't know. Not there every day, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think Matt Castle is a decent option, but I think E.J. Manuel will make bigger plays. Um, that's a match I'm interested in seeing. I think the score, obviously, uh, you know, it's going to be hard. I don't think it's going to be easy to beat Buffalo, but I think... Um, Steelers going to keep it close. I think they'll pull it off. I think they'll win this one 24-21 uh, uh, Steelers. Then we got another game. Let's go to Minnesota at Dallas. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty interested in this game just because we don't know what the situation with Adrian Peterson is right now. I don't really know if he's going to uh, show up too much in the preseason. You know, um, I think he's waiting for the regular season. We'll see what happens. But obviously, you want to see, um, you know, the, the Vikings quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, develop. You really want to see something out of him, some improvement. Um, definitely with the Vikings defense, they've always been pretty solid, pretty consistent on defense. Um, usually, I have like a top 15, top 10 defense. It's not great, but they're at least like middle of the pack. They're not terrible. Um, they need to improve in a couple areas there, especially uh, their linebacker core is Matt Senjo and a couple guys is decent. Um, I think where they need to improve is like the safety position. Um, so, you know, they need to work on that. I'm going to be seeing what they what they uh, show us with their young guys, you know. And then obviously, um, you know, just Dallas with losing Orlando McLean, um, need to see what they can do on defense. And obviously offensively, we know what they can do, but how is... Uh, Jeremy Fadden and a couple other guys that they got, how are they going to fit into that uh, that system, that Cowboy system? Yeah, they have a great offensive line. Or, I'm sorry, Darren McFadden. Great offensive line, but great offensive line, I mean, you got to still be, you still got to be able to run the ball. And they're no DeMarco Murray, so we're going to see. Um, score I'm going with in this game, uh, I'm going 27 27 20 Cowboys. I um, think it's going to be a good game. You know, I think a high scoring, a little high scoring, but. Uh, then the Cowboys will take this one. Next game. Let's go. We got Atlanta and Miami. Uh, it's a pretty interesting game. I mean, the Falcons definitely have some things they need to improve on as a, just as a team overall. You know they got Julio Jones. You know they have Roddy White and Matty Ice. But that, three con that three-headed that three combination isn't enough to get you over the hump. I need to see what you can do defensively. And then obviously we need to see how well Matt Ryan can be protected with his offensive line because I'll tell you what, he was not protected last year. And that's going to be a key this year. Yeah, Julio Jones can go up and get it, same Roddy White, but they have to be throwing the ball first. So we're going to see what happens with that. Um, <laughs> and then we got, you know, Miami, the Dolphins, Ryan Tannehill. Um, I think you guys know what the story is. Usually the Dolphins are an average team. Um, I do think they'll, they'll struggle to ultimately win this game at home. I would go with them in a score of 31-20. to 20. Um, I just think Miami is a high-powered offensive machine that can put up points. That defense with Joe McClellan and those boys and, and a couple guys, I don't know. I mean, that defense, I need to see more. I mean, I know they got a Dominic and Sue now, but I need to see more out of it. You know what I mean? I need to see more... More defense, more uh, more effort. You know their offense definitely puts up points. It's definitely lethal. They got a couple good receivers with Mike Brown. Uh, I mean uh, Mike Wallace and a couple other guys. But uh, I need to see more out of their out of their defense to really consider them a threat. And I think you know they they have a Ryan Tannehill, a, a decent quarterback. But what is he really doing for you ultimately? Um, so I need to see more from them overall. Like I said, going to score thirty one twenty. We'll see what happens. Next game. Jets, Giants, 
It's a little in-state rivalry. You know what it is. Um, Jets obviously have a good defense now. They have the Royal Brevis. They already had a good defense before that. Adding him is just uh, red added. Like it's, it's just it's just it just makes it more lethal than it was before. We we're looking at a top. Um, I think I believe it was a top ten defense last year. Um, most of the categories in, in defensive categories. Now they have the Royal Revis, and they also have Antonio Camardi, who's still pretty good. So not really worried about them. I, I mean, I'm worried about their offense. <laughs> I'm worried about Geno Smith. Um, I don't know if he's the answer. You know, we're going to see the other guys or other quarterbacks come and see if they can get the job done, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, Gi Giants, obviously, the situation with JPP still going on. I really just want to see what they can do overall. Um, especially offensively, if, if I get to see Odell Beckham and Victor Cruz play together. That's the biggest thing. You want to see them play together. Um, so hopefully we can see that. Going with the game, in this game, going with a score of 34-28. I'm going with the Giants. The Gino, um, I think they get the job done. I think Odell Beckham will have a pretty good game. And I'm hoping to see Victor Cruz. Eli's going to be on point, I believe. And then the defense, the Giants defense isn't much to speak of, but I think they'll do enough to get the job done. Um, next game, Cleveland and Tampa Bay. Not really too worried about this one. I mean, we want to see Johnny Manziel, obviously. He's going against against Jameis Winston. I think Jameis Winston is going to be better than him, than, than Johnny Manziel. But um, even, and, and they even said Johnny Manziel might not get reps anymore and might not play. Um, so that was my mistake. Um, you know, they're going to have the other guy in, the other guy at quarterback. But, I mean, I just feel like the Browns aren't really going anywhere. The Buccaneers, I, they show promise to me. Because they have a decent defense, and then they have Jameis Winston. And they, I saw them getting them picks last week. So let's see what happens. Going with the score of this game, um, going with I'm going with the Buccaneers, 30-20. to 20. Going with the Buccaneers, 30-20. to 20. Um, Score Washington and Buffalo. Hmm. Washington and Buffalo is going to be a pretty good game. I really think, or I'm sorry, Washington and Baltimore. I really, I really think that RG3 needs to get it together. Sorry. He really does, but um, this game is going to be, I think, pretty. I think tighter than people think. Um, you know, the Redskins quarterback. They have, <laughs> to be honest, they they don't have too many options at quarterback um, that are that are good at least sustainable. Um, we really just need to see what the status is of RG three, and then see what their offensive line is doing. That's the main thing I think everybody knows we're looking for. What's their offensive line going to do, especially if RG three is not in the game today? What are they going to do for their other quarterback that's going to be in the game? It'll be interesting to see if they protect him better, and then we'll have some questions raised. Um, but Baltimore, you know, they have Terrell Suggs and on defense. He says on a couple of guys. I think they're going to do well. Um, Joe Flacco and a couple other guys on offense. I think they'll win this game. Um, not too, not that hard at all. I think it's going to be a game. I think it's going to be close at the beginning, but I think at the end they'll pull away 35-20. Um, we got a couple more games here. Bear with me. Chicago and Cincinnati. Um, we all know we need to see from Jay Cutler that offense, but I do like Kevin White, Martellus Bennett, and a couple other weapons they have. Defense is in shambles. I don't know what we're going to see from them. I, I hope it's something better. I saw a little promise from them in the last couple preseason games that I watched them. Um, we'll see what happens from there. But uh, as far as I know, the defense is trash. <laughs> and then uh, in Cincinnati, Cincinnati, uh, they've always had a good defense, but inconsistent. We'll see what they can do there. And then they, their offense just played terrible last week. They just threw so many picks. I mean, Andy Dalton, what's going on? I don't know. I need to see a redemption out of you. I need to see something from the offense. A.J. Green is also a little bit responsible for one of those picks, so I need to see what he's going to do, too. Contract year, I mean, it's, he got paid. I mean, let's see what he does. Um, going with the score of this game, I think it's going to be a lower scoring game this time. Going with the score of 24-17. Uh, yep, 24-17. And I'll go with the Bengals. I think they'll redeem themselves. Philly at Green Bay, this is the game I really wanted to talk about. I want to see... Um, Philly at Green Bay, I mean, they lost 53 20 last year, so <laughs> let's keep it in perspective. They have a guy like Byron Maxwell. They have a guy like, uh, you know, they have they have a guy like Sam Bradford now. They have guys different to, on both sides of the wall that can be difference makers. Question is, will it gel together? That remains to be seen. We can see what I can see with Sam Bradford, that defense with Byron Maxwell, Captain A, and a couple other guys on that defense that are veterans. Um, see what they do. Uh, I think the score of this game, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. We're looking at a 38-31 game, but I say Packers because even without Jordy Nelson, I think you'll see on display what Aaron Rodgers can do with Devontae Adams and a couple other guys that he has at his disposal. Ran the top. Um, Colts Steelers. 
Colts take this one to me. Um, they haven't played well all preseason, but I think Andrew Luck is due for like one of those breakout games in the preseason. Even though it's only preseason, he's still going to have, I think, a decent game for the series that he's in, with however many that may be. I think the Colts defense is definitely gelling together a little bit, improving. I saw a little bit of an improvement last week, so we'll see what happens. Um, the Rams, obviously, they always had a good defense, but the question remains to be seen. What is their offense going to do? What is Nick Foles going to do with that offense? And if he can do some damage, ooh, they will be a threat. They will be a threat. Um, but today they're not. <laughs> today the score is going to be, um, I think, 28-17. Uh, I'm sorry, 28-17 Colts, man. Next game we got San Francisco-Houston. I mean, San Francisco-Denver, I'm sorry. Um, San Francisco, Denver. I think Denver's going to take this one, um, just because Denver. I think they're they're gelling right now. I saw them against the Seahawks. Saw them against a couple other teams. Their defense looks poised right now, and their offense. Obviously, they still got the guys like Demarius Thomas that can still be difference makers. I think they take this one in a lower scoring game. I think it's going to be twenty to seventeen. Uh, Cowboys. They went on the final drive. Or, sorry, not Cowboys. Uh, Broncos. They went on the final drive. I think. Um, going to be a close game. Obviously, we're looking to see what we can see from Kaep Kaepernick, um, that offense, you know, Crabtree, a couple other guys. And then the defense, LeBar Bowman, he looked good last week, so I really want to see if he makes any improvements. I think he'll be out there making a couple plays, a couple stops, if he gets him for a couple series, and we'll see what happens. Um, Houston at New Orleans. Man, <laughs> Texans have some work to do, but I think New Orleans is definitely going to win this game. Um, I think they, they lost a little bit of a tough, a tough one last week. I think they have a great offense, but we saw even without Jimmy Grant, they still have Drew Brees, so I think they can still make some things happen. Um, you know, I think they're going to go win this one. I'm going to go with a score of 34-24 Saints. Um, there's one game on tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys an update on that game tomorrow, um, just because I want to give you the latest update. I'll, actually, I'll give it to you now. It's Arizona and Oakland. Um, I do think Arizona is going to win that game because they have a good defense poise, like young guys like Tyron Matthew and Patrick Peterson. Um, and then Oakland, they do have Derek Carr and a couple guys on offense. But what are they really doing consistently? You need to see more consistency out of Oakland. I do think Arizona is going to win this game. Um, but I am interested to see what Oakland's uh, young rookies can do. I know they got um, they got one of the young wide receivers drafted there too. So I want to see what their offense can do. But I think ultimately uh, Arizona wins this game. Going with a score, low scoring game again. Uh, going with 21 14, Arizona. That's all, the, that's all the games for today. It was a lot, uh, kind of a long video, but bear with me. I'm going to have some more updates for you guys after the game tomorrow. Just my thoughts on the game. Um, like I said, this is NFL All Access. I'm going to try to give you guys up to date information. Uh, hit the link, subscribe, and keep watching, man. It's going to get more interesting as it goes. All right. Can't wait for the regular season. Enjoy the games today, man.